Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima and today we're doing another hair video. So Eunice actually sent me this wig. This is their 5x5 HD lace closure. This is a 34 inch wig. So just stay tuned to see how I got my hair to look like this. And yeah. Okay, so this is what the hair is looking like straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. As you guys can see, this hair is very thick. Um, I'm not sure of the density of it, but I will leave all that information down below. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut some layers into it because I did plan on putting some curls in this hair. So I wanted it to have a nice layered effect and I wanted the curls to frame my face nicely. So yeah, that's why I'm cutting layers into this. And I'm curling this with my flat iron, my Babyless Pro or Babyless Pro, however you say it, that curling iron. And now we're on to the install. So I'm not doing the whole um, cap method, bald wig cap method. I'm just placing the wig cap onto my head, gluing that onto my forehead with got to be spray. And now I'm putting cream concealer onto my cap so it can match my skin tone better under the lace and now it's time to install this lace i will be doing the same process on the lace so i'm putting cream concealer on there as well my cream concealer is from the beauty supply from ruby kisses um in the shade 11. so as you guys can see this lace is already like melting into my skin without me even cutting the lace off this is hd lace and this is really really good lace this is one of the best hd laces that i received um, it was very easy to basically melt this lace into my skin. So yeah, I really did enjoy this lace. So we, I am going to cut the lace off before I glue it. So I'm cutting that with a razor just so it gives me like a jagged edge or, you know, the cut isn't very straight. It's pretty jagged. So that's why I'm cutting that with a razor. And then I will be going in with ghost bond glue to glue this closure wig down. I'm only going to be putting down one layer of the ghost bond glue because I didn't expect myself to have this wig on for a long time. So I'm doing what I usually do, which is I'm creating a guideline with my brown lip liner. I'm just placing some dots onto my forehead. That just lets me know where to place the glue exactly so that I don't bring it down too much on my forehead or just apply too little of the glue. So yeah. So when the glue is almost clear, I place the lace down and make sure to follow the same guidelines, the brown dots with my lace. Um, and so I place it exactly where the glue is and then I'm gonna wipe off those dots with some alcohol and a rag. And I also put some got to be spray, a little bit of that onto the lace as well. Um, and then I'm gonna tie everything down with an elastic band. Let that sit for around 10 minutes just so everything can dry and set in place. I had actually curled this wig like a couple days before I even installed it so I found that the curls had fallen quite a bit so I was just going in and recurling um, the hair just so that you know it could have more of a defined curl. Honestly this took so long. The process of curling hair actually takes a really long time especially if it's long hair. Like I curled this hair so many times because the curl kept on falling. <laughs> so I cut out a lot of obviously the time of me curling it and I just skipped through it. But yeah, man, curling takes so long. I was really tired by the end of this video, by the end of filming this video, honestly.
Okay, so now onto baby hairs. I did want my baby hairs to be pretty thin because I wanted it to be natural looking. Um, so yeah, I just took out a very small section in the front and then I'm going to be cutting that and swooping it. I did use this like got to be pomade that I found at Walmart. It was the first time that I've ever seen that. Um, and it actually worked really good. It's definitely not as strong as all the other got to be products like the yellow got to be in the, in the tube or the bottle. Um, but it still worked pretty good. And now baby hairs are done. I was almost done at this point, but I was just checking myself out to see if I liked how this was looking. And I was like, I don't know. I don't really like, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling something about this install. So I actually decided to change the part to a middle part. You guys will see in a second. I'm just taking out the elastic band because I tied that after I did my baby hairs. But I'm going to change my part to a middle part because I just wasn't really feeling the side part too much. Um, so yeah, I changed it to a, a middle part and in my opinion it looked a lot better that way. Okay, so I was definitely liking the way this was looking at this point. So I was just curling the front again um, and I cut some layers into one of the sides as well just so that everything could be symmetrical. And then I will fix my part. So I'm just gonna put some concealer in my part and then use the black spray to define that. And then we are pretty much done. Oh, and I also went in with my Care Care Wax Stick and my Spritz Spray on the top of my hair just to flatten everything out so that everything was smooth, no flyaways. And then after that, we are done. really love the way this turned out this closure is definitely giving frontal in my opinion um, this came out super cute I love these curls I love the length of this hair as well thank you again to Eunice hair for partnering up with me on this video I absolutely love this hair um, with that being said if you guys like the video of course hit the like button leave some comments down below if you guys have any questions I'll be sure to answer you down below and of course subscribe for more videos like these I will see you guys in the next one